Australia's defense landscape is undergoing a transformative shift with the multi-mission phased array radar development program, the MMPAR, emerging as a cornerstone of its modernization efforts. Announced in February 2025, this ambitious initiative, led by Canberra-based CEA Technologies, represents a significant investment in advanced radar technology to bolster the Australian Army's long-range fires and threat monitoring capabilities. With a $272 million commitment to procure up to 14 MNPAR systems, the program is set to deliver cutting-edge surveillance and targeting solutions by 2027 reinforcing Australia's strategic posture in the Indo-Pacific. The MMPAR program is a key component of Project Land 81113 Phase 2, approved in June 2024, which aims to enhance the Australian Defence Force's integrated defence capabilities. The radars are designed to provide precise targeting data for land-based maritime strike systems, a critical capability in an era of evolving regional threats. Stationed with the 10th Fires Brigade at the Edinburgh Defence Precinct in South Australia, the MMPARs will support units operating advanced systems like Lockheed Martin's M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems and potentially Thales Australia Strikemaster platforms. This integration underscores the program's role in enabling long-range precision fires, a priority outlined in Australia's 2024 National Defence Strategy. By providing multi-domain surveillance across air, land, and sea, the MMPARs will enhance situational awareness, allowing the ADF to detect and respond to sophisticated threats, including hypersonic missiles and stealth technologies. CEA Technologies, a global leader in active electronically scanned array radar systems, is at the heart of the MMPAR program. The company's expertise stems from its successful development of the CAFAR radar, deployed on the Royal Australian Navy's Anzac-class frigates for 3D search, fire control, and target classification. The MMPAR builds on this technological foundation, adapting CAFAR's modular, programmable architecture for ground-based applications. Utilizing gallium nitride power amplification, the MMPAR offers enhanced performance, scalability, and reliability in complex operational environments. Unlike traditional radars, ASA systems like MMPAR can electronically steer beams without mechanical movement, enabling rapid target tracking and multi-mission functionality. This adaptability makes the MMPAR ideal for supporting joint all-domain operations, a key pillar of Australia's defence modernisation. The $272 million investment in the MMPAR program is not only a strategic milestone, but also an economic catalyst. The project is expected to sustain over 700 jobs in Canberra and across Australia, reinforcing the nation's commitment to sovereign defence manufacturing. By prioritizing local industry, the program aligns with Australia's broader goal of reducing reliance on foreign systems, a priority amplified by global supply chain uncertainties and regional security dynamics. CEA Technologies' Canberra facilities will serve as the primary hub for MMPAR production, with delivery of the first radars slated for 2027. This timeline reflects a deliberate effort to balance technological innovation with operational readiness, ensuring the ADF can deploy these systems in a timely manner to address emerging threats. Strategically, the MMPAR program positions Australia as a leader in the Indo-Pacific's evolving security landscape. The 2024 National Defence Strategy emphasizes deterrence through advanced, interoperable systems, and the MMPAR's ability to integrate with HIMARS and other strike platforms enhances Australia's capacity to project power and counter adversarial advancements. The radar's multi-mission capabilities enable them to detect a wide range of threats, from conventional aircraft and ships to advanced munitions, making them a versatile asset in contested environments. This is particularly relevant given the growing sophistication of regional actors, such as China and Russia, whose development of hypersonic and stealth technologies poses challenges to traditional radar systems. 
The MMPAR's ESA technology, with its high sensitivity and rapid response, is well suited to address these threats, ensuring Australia maintains a technological edge. The MMPAR program also benefits from CEA Technologies' long-standing collaboration with international partners, particularly the United States. Since 2005, CEA has worked with the U.S. on phased array radar development for smaller naval vessels, an experience that informs the MMPAR's design and interoperability. While the MMPAR is a domestic initiative, its technological foundations align with joint all-domain command and control frameworks, facilitating cooperation with allies like the US and UK. This interoperability is critical for Australia's role in regional security frameworks such as the AUKUS partnership, which emphasizes technology sharing and collective defense. However, the program's focus on local production ensures that Australia retains sovereign control over its radar capabilities, reducing vulnerabilities associated with foreign dependencies. Despite its promise, the MMPR program faces potential challenges. Australia's defence industry has historically grappled with skills shortages, as seen in delays to the Jindalee Operational Radar Network JORN, upgrades which were completed around 2013-2014 due to workforce constraints. Similar risks could affect the MMPR timeline, particularly given the specialized engineering talent required for AESA radar development. To mitigate this, CEA Technologies and the Australian government are investing in workforce development, leveraging the program's economic benefits to attract and train skilled professionals. Additionally, the MMPAR must keep pace with global advancements in radar technology, such as dual polarization and adaptive scanning, which are being explored in systems like the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Advanced Technology Demonstrator. Continuous research and development will be essential to ensure the MMPAR remains competitive. The MMPAR program also stands in contrast to earlier phased array radar initiatives, such as the U.S. Multifunction Phased Array Radar, MPAR, which was decommissioned in 2016 after focusing on weather and aircraft surveillance. Unlike the MPAR, Australia's MMPAR is purpose-built for military applications, with a clear emphasis on long-range fires and multi-domain threat detection. Its ground-based configuration and integration with artillery systems distinguish it from naval radars like CFR, highlighting its unique role within the ADF's capability ecosystem. Furthermore, the MMPAR's development complements other Australian radar programs, such as the JORN Phase 6 upgrade and Silentium Defense's passive radar systems for AIR-6500, creating a layered surveillance network that enhances national security. Looking ahead, the MMPAR program is poised to deliver significant strategic and economic benefits. By 2027, the deployment of these radars will mark a major milestone in Australia's defence modernisation, providing the ADF with a robust multi-mission capability to address complex threats. The program's focus on local manufacturing and job creation underscores Australia's commitment to self-reliance while its alignment with international partnerships ensures interoperability with allies. As the Indo-Pacific region becomes increasingly contested, the MMPR will play a critical role in maintaining Australia's deterrence posture and safeguarding its national interests.